Tıp Paleontologlar tarafından Diplomistus ringa balığı olarak adlandırılıyor. We can examine it from close up and it is clearly identical to herrings living in the present day. The fish's mouth, for instance, the eye socket on the upper section, the gills that enable it to breathe, and the fins beneath its gills can all be seen very clearly. Diğer yüzgeçler ve kuyrukları bugünkü ringa balıklarıyla tamamen aynıdır. Hatta Let us take an even closer look at our fossil. You can see very clearly the fish's skeletal structure. And even some of the tiny bones of the structure are all crystal clear. Next to it is another fossil. This one belongs to another herring species. And like the other herring, it possesses exactly the same structure as its descendants living today. Now you are looking at another fossil discovered in Asia. This one is a crocodile that dates back to the Cretaceous period. Paleontologists have established that this fossil is fully 100 million years old. In other words, this crocodile lived 100 million years ago with exactly the same features as crocodiles living today. Şimdi isterseniz gelin yine fosilimize yakından bir bakalım. I'm holding yet another fossil, a 75 million year old one that lived during the Cretaceous period. As you can clearly see, this fossil belongs to a baby shark and displays exactly the same features as baby sharks living today. When we look a little more closely at its general appearance, its head structure, fins and tail structure, and even its skeletal structure can all be seen very clearly. This fossil once again shows us a very important fact, that all living things had exactly the same perfect forms millions of years ago as they do today. I now have another fossil in my hand, but first, I would like to give you some technical information about it. This fossil belongs to a species of lizard which was discovered by paleontologists in the Huixia formation in the Ganglin region of China. Research has determined that this species of lizard lived 210 million years ago. Over 200 million years ago, this species of lizard was alive with its flawless internal system and anatomical structure. Let us now have a closer look at this animal. As the fossil clearly shows, it has been perfectly preserved right down to the finest details. Its head structure, for example, and the graceful neck bones that attach the head to the body. There are so many details you can see. Right down to its toes and to the joints on those digits that join them one to the other and permit them to move. Right down to the perfection of its tail. This is an exceedingly clear and excellent fossil, whose details have been exceptionally well preserved right down to the present day. It tells the adherents of the theory of evolution 
No, evolution never took place at any time in the past. I now have in my hand another fossil that refutes the theory of evolution. This one is of a lobster, and paleontologists have established this fossil's age at around 146 million years. As you can see clearly, this fossil is completely identical to lobsters living in the present day. Its tail structure, body and legs, for example, are all clearly preserved. And its pincers, of course, have also survived in a very clear, distinct and perfectly preserved form. I would now like to introduce you to a very small but very significant light form. This fossil belongs to the trilobite. Paleontologists discovered this fossil in France. It is around 390 million years old. Trilobites are just one of the striking species that completely dash the expectations of evolutionists. As you may know, these animals came into being during the so-called Cambrian explosion that took place some 550 million years ago when a multitude of new life forms suddenly appeared in the fossil record. The most crucial point, and one that evolutionists cannot explain away, is that these creatures had no known forerunners or ancestors. This fact is now admitted by even evolutionist scientists. These trilobites and all other life forms that existed during the period when they were alive were created in a single moment by our Lord God with no common ancestors behind them. One of the main features of trilobites that baffles evolutionists is their compound eye structure. A trilobite's eye is made up of hundreds of minute compartments, each of which has a double lens system. This eye structure is identical to the eye structure of many creatures alive today, such as spiders, bees, and flies. Such a complex structure appearing suddenly in a creature that existed some 500 million years ago is more than sufficient to invalidate the chance-based theories of evolutionists. Why? Because no such complex life forms ever existed during earlier geological periods. This goes to show that trilobites came into being with no evolutionary process behind them. As you will immediately recognize, this is a fossilized tiger skull. It was, again, discovered in Asia and has been dated at around 20 million years old, which places it during the Miocene epoch. It has also been perfectly preserved, especially in terms of the structure of its teeth, which it used to capture prey. This skull possesses exactly the same perfect structure and characteristics